Hello everyone. We're back. Yes. Welcome to another episode of the Jenny Vlog Show. <laughs> Dave finds us on our way to Wyoming. We're all off for the day and instead of hanging around at the Y, we thought we'd all pile in the car together and make a road trip to Cheyenne. I'm taking a road trip with my three favorite ladies. <laughs> Me, Sophie, and Sunny. <laughs> decide what we want to eat because we all kind of more what about or less like, skipped breakfast. Let's just go to the burger place because they'll have, they'll have more stuff than burgers. They'll have like chicken tenders and chicken sandwiches and salad. I can use a big burger honestly. Yeah, let's Should go to the burger food. place. myself. So now we're at the um, Wyoming, Sta Whoa. Wyoming State Museum here in Cheyenne. We just finished eating. Hello. <laughs> Lunch was delicious. I had a burger. A huge, 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 huge burger um, with onion rings and stuff hollow on top of it. So I will be stuffed probably for the rest of the night. At the same time. Oh, look at this. Yellowstone National Park transportation, that's what they use. <laughs> the Yellowstone's in Wyoming. That's amazing. Make sure those women in those dresses try and find out there. This is typical wildlife in Wyoming. We've got the antelope, rabbit, prairie dog, and there's the coyote. I did know that Wyoming was really big with coal mining. That's always been going on, it seems like forever. My dad on his way to work we're past the coal mines every day that was like when i lived in wyoming like two years ago so apparently wyoming has tons of fossils that can be found here and we're still discovering more it's like one of the richest places in the world that has fossils so many so many fossils are found here it's unbelievable and they that's mostly of dinosaurs I found that kind of fascinating cowboy hat was worn by somebody who worked in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show in 1885. There's a map of Wyoming. So I lived, that's exactly where I lived. I lived in Lighter, or Barbara I went to school in Claremont and we would go shopping in Sheridan. And my dad, yeah, 
We often went to Gillette too. And my dad later moved and worked in Casper. And we lived in Douglas, home of the Jackalopes. And as always with most museums, I become overwhelmed. Like I can't really read everything. I try, but there's just so much in this museum to read about and everything. This place has an upstairs too. This is so neat. Look at the fascinating beadwork on these shoes. It's amazing. And the hair on that uh, thing. I don't know what you call that. So just a few hours later, we are now leaving the wonderful Wyoming State Museum. Yes, yes we are. It was, it's just impossible to look at everything. I want to read everything, but there's just so much. Jen and I liked it. The other ladies got a little bored. <laughs> You know, yeah. They tell me once you see one tomahawk, you've seen them all. No, know? they can be owned by different people. Yeah, I found them in a teepee. They were napping. Yeah, so. they, they were taking a nap in a teepee. <laughs> so anyway, history's not for everyone. History's no. not for everyone. Oh, but we both find it fascinating, and I went to the gift shop afterward, got some postcards and a book of ghost stories in Wyoming. And now they're dragging us to the bloody mall, so that's where we're going. Yeah, time to do some more shopping. Woo! I seriously though do not need any more clothes. I know Wyoming isn't that populated of a state, but being in the capital and being in a mall is so dead and empty. Especially before the holidays, I don't get it. Alright, one word to describe the mall in Cheyenne. Depressing. <laughs> Lame! <laughs> We're in Target now, and Grandma's trying to find some clothes that will suit his style. And Jenny shoved me into a <laughs> coat rack. Ouch. Well, we you called me a schmohawk. I didn't just up and do that for no reason. I'm not that kind of person. You know that. <laughs> you better be nice or I'm going to tickle you. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> ha. That was a short duel. That was a short duel. <laughs> okay. I got your leg. <laughs> you got our weapons. <laughs> so since our luck ran out in Target and we weren't able to find anything of Graham's style, we're in TJ Maxx to see if we can have better luck. $70. I got a cheaper freaking vest at Banana Republic. Oh. Oh. That's nice. That's a good color. This is a, uh... Good color. I'm out of my parents' jacket. <laughs> I'm not being a small hog. I think that this sweater will look so cute on Graham. Look at this. It's two sloths on a Christmas tree. <laughs> look at that. You know my mom? <laughs> oh, this is you. This is you. All right, first of all... <laughs> This is a spring shirt, so I wouldn't even be able to wear it for seven months. Wyoming is cursed, man. We never. might, well, we might have found something, though, this never time. Never coming back here again. <laughs> it's just TJ Maxx. Maybe they had short supply. Wyoming's just, like, the last place they deliver their clothes to. <laughs> they they get all the last, uh, yeah, they get the short of the city. Look at Grandpa on this. <laughs> I don't think you do. I mean, I can see where... Ooh, I kind of like it. Yeah, I like it, Graham. The sweater is a yes. It looks very, very nice on Graham. So, it's just a little bit past 8.30, and we just walked in at the Y again. I really enjoyed Cheyenne, I think, overall. I mean, we didn't hang out in the city too much. It was just mainly um, the State Museum that was really awesome. There was so much history in there. Like I said, it was impossible to do it all in one trip but yeah we just really hung out on the mall which was like i said empty <laughs> it was really weird and so yeah um i have some time to i think work on a few videos um i need to catch up on journaling and tomorrow i gotta get up at five to go to work got a big day ahead so that's it for now uh...